Settle down This old night life Oh, this old sporting life It's killing me I got a letter From my home Most of my friends They're dead and gone It'll make you wonder Friends, it'll make you worry about days to come. Cause I've been a gambler, I've been a cheater too. Now it's come my time to lose. This old night life, oh, it's a mean life, it's killing me. I Walk the Road Again, brand new record, Sport and Life Blues, Happy Tron. It's nice to have you on Wood Songs, finally. Well, thank you, Michael. It's great to be here. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been a long wait, and I'm, I'm glad that you're finally visiting us. You uh, played that song uh, taught to you by your guitar teacher way back when. That's right. I took lessons with Brownie McGee back down back in around 1958, 59, and that was one of the songs he taught me. Well, uh, did you know at the time that he was... Brownie McGee? I did. Did you? I did. I, I bought one of his records. It was a little 10-inch Folkways LP. Um, and uh, I just fell in love with some of the songs on there. And I heard he lived in New York, and I actually looked him up in the phone book, and there he was. So I called him up, and I said, I'd love to take some guitar lessons with you. And he said, come on down. And for about two years on and off, I went to his house down in East Harlem in New York and had a great time. What, what, a, what a great teacher. Of course, Brownie McGee was a, a compatriot of uh, Woody Guthrie. That's right. And uh, Lead Belly and so, so many others. So what a, what a great start on your own. Oh, music yeah. Playing. Yeah. We used to, uh, he, he used to be sitting around playing with me, uh, trading licks and stuff, showing me stuff. And Sonny Terry would show up and play a little harmonica. And uh, it, was, it was a great time. You, uh, you ended up uh, not too long after that. I guess you've only been playing uh, four years at the time. Uh, you hooked up with a young Bob Dylan. Did some work with Bob? Yeah, we were. Um, I was in a group called the New World Singers, and uh, we made a record for Folkways called Broadsides. And Bob Dylan was on there. He was called Blind Boy Grunt on that That's record. That's right, yeah. For <laughs> contractual purposes. He, he didn't want anybody to know it was him doing right. it, right? And actually, um, uh, the mother of, of one of your guests, Bernice Reagan, was on that 
part of the Freedom Singers. Yeah, yeah and the, as the Freedom Singers, she was on that same record. Yep. Um, you recorded, if I, I may misstate this, so I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but, but uh, you recorded the first um, cut of Blown in the Wind. Right. You were Our, the first person to cut that song before right. Peter, Paul, and Mary got hold That's of it. That's right. Unfortunately, we didn't have the big hit. You didn't have the hit. <laughs> but we were first. <laughs> so you, in your career, you know, being around people like uh, 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 Bob Dylan and, and Pete Seeger, and, mm -hmm. and uh, this is all part of your music scene. So how did all that affect you as a, as a young player? I mean, it must have been exciting. Well, it was, it was very exciting. It was exciting being in New York and Greenwich Village uh, back in the late 50s around the Washington Square um, folk revival scene and uh, then the whole singer-songwriter movement taking place at the Gaslight Cafe in Gertie's Folk City and all those historic places in New York and Tom Paxson and Bob Dylan and Phil Oaks and mm -hmm. Peter Paul and Mary, all those people around and, and Bob Dylan of course was, uh, was just a huge influence on all of us. Now you, uh, you make your home now in Woodstock, New York. Right. Now did right. you move to Woodstock before it became Woodstock? Or? <laughs> yeah. You were Actually, there prior to. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Uh, well, we moved there in about 1966, and 69 was the big festival. So uh, we, we were there already. 